Today we're at a quarry in southern Vermont where Danby marble is extracted. And this is actually the largest underground quarry in the world. Now stones from this place have graced the Jefferson Memorial, the Supreme Court, and have been used for thousands upon thousands of kitchen countertops just like ours. Look at this. There are three quarries on this site. The deepest is about a mile down. And there are nine very distinct types of marble that come out of these quarries. We're going to start by going into the brook quarry. Keith Millard is what they call the lead man around here, right? Yes. Are we completely surrounded by marble here? Yes, we are. It's like a cathedral, amazing. And what is marble? We know it as countertops, but what is, how's it made up? It's a metamorphic rock that's created by limestone. It's created by pressure and heat, which creates the marble. Okay, and that changes its form, and, it, and we get this, just beauty. And how do you get this heavy stone out of here? It starts with a special saw. So look at this. So how did they get the marble out of the quarry in the old days? Ah, they used to drill it. Blaster way, blast a tunnel through the mountain and then come back and drill it with half rounds and wedges and break it. Drill holes and then wedge it out? Absolutely. Well, this machine makes it look pretty easy. This machine makes things very easy for us. All right, take me through it. Um, this machine actually tunnels its way through the mountain, makes nice smooth cuts, which makes us a lot safer work environment. Looks like a glorified chainsaw. Yes, it is. That's all it is. All it is is diamonds, diamond segments yeah. that are evenly spaced. Which actually just makes nice clean cuts through the mountain. Okay. Goes horizontally and then cuts vertically. How long is this blade? Seven feet. Seven feet. Because so you can make seven foot cuts this way, this way, this way. Yes. Great. And can you just keep on going this way? No, this is kind of the end of this. Um, there's been core holes drilled, so we know that we're at the end here. We're coming into a water channel. So yeah, you don't want water to fill this place. Absolutely not. And then we'll turn and go south. There's 25, 30 years of marble going 20 south. 20 there. And then there's a whole bunch of marble here going north. You're not going to run out of marble. Never going to run out of brook layers. All right. So now you've cut this thing on, what, three sides. We've got one left. Can this same blade do it? No. We'll uh, actually wrap a wire around that. We'll bring a wire saw in. We'll wire saw the backs yeah. off these, and then we'll choose our blocks. Great. Can we see that? The Absolutely. Great. This is a similar saw that cuts vertical. All right, now how long is that blade? 17 feet. Wow, so that's gonna leave a big chunk of, of marble here. And how do you make that final cut, with the wire saw? It'll be, bottoms will be cut off with the wire saw. Cool, that this here? It's currently over here. Look at how deep this thing, man. Richard, this is the diamond wire that's used to make the final cut. So where's the diamond? These are the diamonds in between the springs. Okay, great. Um, the wire's threaded in between, in through those Fantini cuts. So you get it all the way around the block and push it all the way to the bottom? Yes. Wow. And then it's wrapped around and wrapped around the wheel, and it allows itself to cut itself together, as you can see. So there must be some wicked tension on that thing. Yes, there is. Is it safe? No, not really. Not <laughs> down there. But I'm glad we're up here. Uh, so how much left? Is that, that one's almost ready to go? This cut will be done. You can see the wires are coming together. Yeah. It's going to break out into nothing, and then the block will be free from the mountain. It's a beautiful, clean cut. Oh, look at that. All right, so this block right here is completely cut, right? Yes. And what do you imagine it weighs right now? Roughly 150 tons. 150 tons. Yes. So how do you get it out of here? Well, we're going to take this water bag cushion right here. Water bag cushion, like a pillow? Yes. OK. So we're going to slide it into this cut right here, like this. And then it's going to expand. With and water with, or air? With water. And the water will be enough to move that block? To open it up. I gotta see this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Pulling back. Woo! All right, so this is the next piece that's gonna come out of you. Where will a slab like this be used in real life? Um, from the bed down to the bottom will basically be a scrap product that will be thrown really? over the bank. This wow. really doesn't have any value to us. And then from here up about two feet, it'll probably be head sent to the Arlington Cemetery. It'll be turned the, head, the headstones? Yes. Wow, isn't that amazing? And then the top portion will be cut into Olympia white slabs. Okay, so is the whole place filled with mostly white? 
Uh, for the most part, but there's a lot of other products in here. There's so you got some choices? Yes. All right, so where does it go from here? It goes to a finishing plant. All right. Those 150 ton blocks are too big to be moved around readily, so they get cut smaller to be brought here into smaller blocks to the processing plant. But they have to be cut yet again into even smaller bits. Luca Manolini, you are the general manager here. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Who is the artist that decides exactly how to cut these things just right? It's me. It's you. So tell me, when you look at these blocks like this, how do you know where to start? I look at the imperfection uh, in the stone, uh, cracks, uh, natural uh, fracture. So this says trim. Is this, is this bad? Yes, bad veining like this. Uh, that uh, they carry imperfections. That would make a bad countertop? Yes, uh, we can't use this, we can use that. Look how beautiful is this face. So that is beautiful. So I noticed a little accent. Where are you from? Uh, from Italy. Italy. And where? Uh, Carrara. Carrara. They're pretty famous for marble, aren't they? It is, yes. <laughs> well, we are in good hands. So when, when this thing gets cut, how do we turn it into countertop? Uh, we'll move it to our multi blade gang saw. Let's go. All right, so this is your gang saw here. Yes, this is one of the two uh, diamond blade uh, gang saw. Okay, so multiple blades at the top. And how many, how many slabs can it cut? Right now we are set to cut 40 wow. slabs. We can do up to 50. Wow. With the other one, 80. Okay, and how thick are the slabs going to be? Uh, one inch and a quarter. Wow. How long will it take to get through? Uh, the old block, uh, uh, 10 hours. 10 hours. I might have to stay over. So here's some slabs just out of the gang saw. I can see them all indexed by number here. Yeah, but now this lab needs to be finished. Okay. Follow me. Look at that. So this is no finish at all. No, right? this is a sewn finish. Sewn finish, meaning it's just been cut. Cut from the blades okay. only. So what's this machine going to do? Just put a finish on it. Okay. How? We have 17 different wheels. Uh, grinding wheels. Grinding wheels. Okay. Uh, each one has nine bricks. Uh, nine different shades, shades on it, yeah. And we can do three finishes. Okay. Three. To, what can you do? Polish, honing, and brush. Polished, honed, or brushed. Or brush. And what are we running today? Imperial honing slabs. Honing. Imperial slabs. Now honing is what everybody likes, right? So that's a home finish, not really bright. That's a home. And that's what everybody likes. And that's what actually our homeowner has ordered too in that color. Is that, do you think that could be ours? I think so, yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Lucas, thanks so much for the tour. You're very welcome. Watch this all day. Nice <laughs>